This is a quick rundown of how different camera settings work on a camera and how to use those settings to best help you in photography. First, there is shutter speed, the most simple setting on your camera. This is basically how long your camera's light sensor is exposed to incoming light. The faster your shutter speed, the darker your image may appear since less light is getting to the sensor. The longer the shutter is open, the more light is available, so therefore the picture is brighter if not counteracted by another setting. A slow shutter speed, however, may result in blur or light streaks, so it is best to have a tripod when working in low light conditions. Usually, you will want to have the fastest shutter speed possible when taking a picture in normal conditions to cut down on blur. Second is your ISO. Your ISO is the sensitivity of your camera sensor. The higher your ISO, the more sensitive and brighter the image will be at the cost of having noise or grain in your image. The lower the ISO, the darker the image will appear, and less grain and noise will be present. It is best to try to have the lowest ISO possible when taking a picture so there will be less grain. Then there is your aperture setting, which is measured in f-stops. This is basically a measurement of the opening in your lens. The lower the f-stop, the more open the aperture will be, the brighter the image will appear, and the more bokeh or blur will be in front or behind the object in focus. The higher the f-stop, the smaller the aperture will be, the darker the image will appear, and the less bokeh will be in your image. The last setting that we'll be discussing is white balance. Since your camera does not know the temperature of lighting in the place you are in, the image may appear to be too blue or too yellow. To combat this, you will need to make sure that your white balance is set correctly. There is a wide assortment of light types that are presets in your camera, such as sunlight, cloudy light, white fluorescent, tungsten, and other light types. By setting the correct white balance, your image will appear with the best color and won't look too blue or yellow. So in conclusion, if you use all of these settings correctly for a specific situation, you will be able to take the shots you want and they will appear nicely. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and go take some awesome pictures.